Hello everyone, Sigler here. Bork, Jeff, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today we're in the pre-patch and a viewer contacted me and he wanted to be anonymous but he asked me if uh, like if he wa like he wants to play Druid and it's understandable, it's a very fun class to play but he wants to do like AOE farming in old content and all, all of that and he asked me like how would he like approach it and how would he play it and I thought I showcase it like what the important keys to if you want to play like a bear druid in for example like in blood furnace which is a very good like raw gold farm so let's get into it uh, if we will first look at the talents, there's a some few key things to keep in mind of, and I'm gonna show you to you. First of all, we have the Primal Fury, which gives us a 100% chance to gain 5% rage each time we critical strike in beer form, which is awesome. So whenever we crit in any type of ability at all, we're gonna get 5 rage. And after that, we have the Leader of the Pack, which says... Uh, we're, first of all, we're getting 5% critical strike, and critical strike is a key, key uh, ability and uh, like key uh, attribute to to bear form overall and cat form also. But if we read on the bottom bottom one, in addition, your melee critical strikes in cat and bear form causes you to heal for 5% of your total health and gain 8% of your maximum mana. This effect cannot occur more than once uh, every six seconds. And so basically in this build, uh, if you know that like I want this druid and I like uh, try to get like two piece set of gear, one that is like for tanking the dungeons and everything. And also one that is like as much health as possible with crit uh, with just as much health and crit as possible. And like the way that I play it is uh, kind of funny because this this six second cooldown is always on cooldown. And you might think, mm, but like, won't I take more damage than five percent each? Uh, like over the course of those six seconds, won't I take more damage? You would do if we wouldn't have this other passive, insane. Ability, which is each time you deal a non-periodic critical strike in beer form. So each time, it doesn't matter on which ability, if it's a swipe and it's crit on one. It says you have a 50% chance to gain savage defense, absorbing physical damage equal to 35% of your attack power for 10 seconds. And this one can be huge. I mean, it's it's awesome and also on top of that now with the vengeance the more damage we take the more attack power we're gonna get so each time you take damage while in beer form you you gain five percent uh, of the damage taken as attack power up to a maximum of ten percent of your health so basically the more we pull like you, you have to learn the dungeons and like how much can I pull to survive. But basically, the you 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 can hit a sweet sweet spot that makes it so like if we pull more, you will die. But it at a certain point, you like the more you pull, the faster you're gonna be able to kill. Also because of vengeance and everything. But I mean. Along with the trinkets that I'm using, this build is insane. Uh, the, the way that I'm farm, farming. So the first one is Death's Verdict. You can buy it from the Gemma uh, dungeon badges thing. Uh, defile something. And first of all, remember, the more attack power we have, the higher the Savage Defense uh, Absorbing Shield is. So that is, that is nice with the first thing on the Death's Verdict. And also we're getting... Uh, 450 agility for 15 seconds and the agility is giving us more critical strike chance and on top of that we're playing with dark matter which is also again giving us more attack power and it says 
your, mele uh, your melee attacks have a chance to increase your critical strike rating by 692 for 10 seconds. So this is mental. I think my volume is a little bit high, so there we go. But like, as I'm standing right now, I have 37% crit. And my gear is not that great. I have a few wrathful pieces that I've gotten for a very long time, but I had have deadly gear, which is 230, 213 uh, item level. So my average item level is 242, pretty much. That, that's the equipped one. But yeah, let me just show it to you how good they actually are. And keep in mind, uh, it's very nice to have thorns also available to use because if you can outrun them while you're pulling, for example, or something, you can pu put on the thorns and go back into beer form. And knowing that you for the next 20 seconds, each time they're hitting you, they're gonna take a shit ton of damage. So yeah, it's pretty much like playing with the Retribution Aura. But let's just go and buff up. And we can actually pop this now, I think. Yeah, let's do that. And after that, you, you, you just go. It's so easy. And uh, the only thing that you have to keep in mind of is if the actual trash is like, if they, uh, if they do, um, if they do stun you, because if they stun you, y you you can die. But like, I'm taking it a little bit slow right now, just to show you. I mean, my health hasn't dropped at all yet. So, I mean, they, it's it's very nice. So let's pull this one. Let's pull this one. Go into dash. And let's continue. See if I, there's usually a rogue over here. There we go. And let me do like this and go into beer form again. And in, in Blood Furnace, you have to keep in mind that they do stun a lot. But like, I'm always trying to keep at least one uh, lance rate on the target because of if you read at the bottom part of the berserker uh, your lance rate uh, uh, your lance rate attack there we go has a chance to well like the periodic damage of your lance rate attack have a 50% chance to make your next mangle go off cooldown and cost nothing so I mean as you can see, this is super easy. It, like, I think my health dropped to like 30, uh, 95, I mean. And as you can see, like, we're getting, let me do like this, just so we can see the loot. There you go. But I mean, it's, it's decent gold and we're getting a, a lot of uh, nether weave cloth. And just go. And a very good tip whenever you're uh, AOE farming. If you know that there's caster, stand around a corner. Because then you're, line, uh, you're making them line out of sight. Which makes it so they, they are going to go run into melee. And that is also a tanking, tanking tip that you should do. Uh, either way, like no matter how you tank. Because... Just tell the, the, the DPSers in the group, like, uh, LOS, LOS, like, uh, or like at the beginning of a dungeon that, like, I'm gonna make them line out of sight. Just so they know. Uh, especially now in Blood Furnace, uh, keep aware of the bombs if you're making a big pull. So let's try, try a little bit of a bigger one. Let's see here. We can do like that and we can also pull the boss here and let's pull this one and go in back into beer form all I did right now was pulling and um, um, was using my thorns and 
That is basically basically what you do. And yeah, it's such an easy way to farm gold. Um, you can do the like you can you can do this just for the raw gold and everything. But the, they are super easy. And like remember, if you are careful, you can do it in the heroic version as well. I tried to do the same speed, but I died. So I it's at like a sweet spot here. But I, if I would run like a, Maybe even like Stratholm or something like that. I might consider doing it on the Druid instead. So yeah, that is basically the way that I do whenever I play a a Druid and I like want to like AOE farm on it. But yeah, uh, if you click this video, we're gonna you you can see an easy and lazy way to play play tank druid and before you leave please consider to subscribe to the content and liking the video if you felt like this is helping you if it didn't i hope that you already knew about this and if you did that's awesome but click this video and i'll see you over there pork pork